prosperity and abundance. The kingdom of heaven belongs to me and I have it right now. Come on, God is my source. Come on, God is my source. And I will never lack ever again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, can we give God praise over that? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, we praise you. Amen. Well, hallelujah. We're going to look at a lot of things tonight. Amen. God's given us a word. Come on, shout with me and say, God is my help. Amen. Amen. And uh, God spoke to us and declared that I will help thee. Amen. So God is my help in Jesus' name. Go with me to Jeremiah uh, verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Glory to God. We praise you, Father. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Praise you, Father. He declared that I will help thee. Amen. When uh, God was sending Moses to deliver Israel out of Egypt, he said, Lord, who do I tell them send me? <laughs> he said, you tell them I am that I am. Amen. He is the I am God. He says, you tell them I am that I am. Well, what does it mean? You know, he's, he says, I am that I am. It, it means whatever you need him to be in any moment, in any situation, he will be that for you. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody ought to praise him over that. Glory to God. Amen. So whatever I need him to be, he will be that for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can we praise him? Amen. Amen. He's going to be there. He's going to show up. Hallelujah. And tonight we're going to talk about the God of my defense. He, he's the God of your defense, your protection. He, he's with you. He never leaves you. You don't have to walk in fear. Amen. And you're called to call upon him. Look at this, Jeremiah 29 and 11. And God has a plan for your life. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Glory to God. Amen. He says, I know the thoughts. In other words, God, God has thoughts concerning your life. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. <laughs> thoughts of peace. To bring your life into a place of continual peace. Mm. Amen. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. What is that expected end? The word expected end means, you can write this down tonight, hallelujah. It means greatness in your final outcome. Oh, hallelujah. Whew. Oh, somebody shout glory to God. Amen. We're going to read this in the Amplified. Greatness, greatness in your final outcome. It means that God is leading your life to a place of, of total increase. It's a plan that you're living out. What plan? God's plan. Wow. It's his plan. So you're not just moseying through life. No, God has a plan that he's leading you on. The Bible said that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Wow. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. He's already <laughs> prepared your path, planned your steps. Oh, say that with me. God has prepared my path and planned my steps. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. He's prepared your path and, and planned your steps. Hallelujah. I keep hearing that. I will help thee. I will help thee. He's the God who helps you. Whatever you're facing and going through right now, he is the God who helps you, who will come through for you in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen? 
Amen. Come on, let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He says, for I know the thoughts and plans. This is the, this is the Amplified, for Jeremiah 29 and 11. I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Thoughts and plans for welfare. Wow. <laughs> and peace and not for evil. To give you hope in your final outcome. Wow. Great expectations. That word hope means expectation. Wow. And so every day you're living with expectation of what God has declared over your life. That he's bringing you to a place, hallelujah, of what? Greatness in your final outcome. Your life is headed towards increase. Your life is headed towards overflow. Your life is headed toward God bringing you to a place of growth and development and overflow. Oh my God. Amen. You're not headed towards death. You're not headed towards demise. You're not headed towards things getting worse. You're not headed towards failure. Amen. So we're not walking expecting any day now is this going to get real bad. No, no. We're expecting to see what God has declared over our lives. Oh, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so he's declaring that your life, and I keep hearing that, uh, though that beginning may be small, your latter end shall greatly increase. And so he's taking you towards a place of continual increase. Oh, my God. Amen. So I'm going to a place of continual increase. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, praise God. Come on. Uh, hallelujah. So hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 115. I hear you, Lord. Glory to God tonight. We praise your name, Father. In the name of Jesus. See, some folks, you know, they're just living. They're just existing. They're just existing. No change, no growth, no development. Amen. And so your life is, as a child of God, as a kingdom citizen, you're moving towards ever increasing faith, ever increasing anointing. Glory to God. Ever increasing in the blessing of God. Wow. Your life is getting better. It's not, it's not, no, 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 it's getting better. You are not the world. You're the kingdom of God now. Hallelujah. And the hand of God is upon your life. Amen. <laughs> and then doors, multiple doors are going to open for you. Hallelujah. You have what the world doesn't have. Jesus said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you, but I will be with you always, even until the end of the world. My God, the kingdom of God is, no, no, it doesn't come with observation. You can't say it's over there, it's down the street. No, no, it is within you. Everything you need is with you and in you. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And he's, he's there to strengthen you in every situation, in every circumstance, in Jesus' name. Psalm 115, look at this, Psalm 115. Look what he says here. Oh, can we, can we give him praise right now? <laughs> hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Look at verse 12. The Lord hath been mindful of us. Wow. Mm. He will bless us. <laughs> What's he say? He said the Lord has been mindful of us. And what's that mean? It means that you are on his mind. Oh, my God. Glory to God. You are on his mind. He's thinking about. That God is thinking about him all the time. And you're always on his mind. Oh, hallelujah. So when you talk about plans, you talk about strategies. So when God says he has a plan for your life, that means he has a strategy for your life. Oh, my God. 
It doesn't matter what the enemy's trying to do. It doesn't matter what he tries to work up. God has a strategy to bring you to a place of greatness and increase and overflow like never before. You will increase on all part. When it talks about welfare, as the Amplified says, welfare means to increase on all parts. Oh, my God. So you ought to walk with that expectation that you will increase on all parts of your life. Oh, hallelujah. In your job, in your business, in your finances, in your home. And come on, every area of your life. Come on, shout every area of my life will increase because God has ordained it so. In the name of Jesus, you ought to praise him over that right there. Glory to God. <laughs> and because he has ordained it, nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop what he's doing in your life. It's God who worketh in you. It's God who's working through you to do of his good will and pleasure. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's get this. He says, verse 12, the Lord have been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. Wow. He will bless the house of Aaron. Oh, my God. Verse 13, he will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. Here it is. Verse 14. Come on, read together. Come on, shout it out. The Lord shall increase you more and more you and your children. Wow. Glory to God. Come on, we got to shout that out. Come on, we got to shout that out tonight. Let, let's read it. Let's read it loud tonight. Verse 14. Come on, let's read. The Lord shall increase you more and more you and your children. Glory to God. He's going to increase you. Wow. Oh, my God. See, when you talk about increase, it's, it's called folding out. Wow. Oh, my God. In other words, God is going to keep giving you ideas to cause you to prosper. Wisdom of witty inventions. He's going to keep talking to you, keep showing you, keep revealing to you, and cause you to spread forth, spread out, and increase and overflow. Wow. So that he's the God of increase. Oh, my God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You are blessed of the Lord, verse 15. You are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. You're blessed. The word blessed, write it down. The word blessed means empowered to prosper. He is giving you his inner ability. To prosper. The Bible says, they that do know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. Oh, my God. They that know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. What does that mean? Bold and daring acts in the earth. In the name of Jesus. Shall I will do. Bold and daring acts unto our God in the earth, in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Come on, shut. He's the God of my defense. Oh, praise his name. Amen. Come on, Psalms 46 and 1. Let's go. Let's go. We got a lot to look at. Amen. Psalms 46. Oh, we praise you, God. We thank you, Father. Look at this. God is our refuge. So we're going to look at who is God to us. He's, my, he's our defense. And so there's many multiple facets of God, how he's going to show up, what he's going to do. He's a help. He's our defense. Wow. Amen. Shout hallelujah. He's our strength. Wow. And so we don't have to fear. He said, don't be afraid. He's our shield and buckler. And then he's given us precious promises. So we're going to look at this tonight. Amen. Psalm 46 and 1. God is our refuge. Wow. What is a refuge? <laughs> you see. The word refuge means shelter. A covering. A protection. Wow. Oh my God. 
So when God says, I'm going to be your refuge, I'm going to be your shelter, covering of protection, and strength. Oh, my God. Come on, let's read. A very present help when in trouble. Glory to God. Wow. Oh, praise his name. <laughs> he said a very present help. Wow. It means when you deal with sudden situations, wow. everything's fine. But then suddenly, here's an issue. Everything's going well, but then suddenly, here's a challenge, here's a situation. Very present help. He'll show up in that moment. Wow. In other words, it will not take you by surprise. The situation will not. The circumstance will not take you by surprise. Wow. God said, I will be a very present help in the time of trouble. Amen. Oh, come on and give God praise tonight. When, oh yes, when, when Paul and Silas was thrown in prison, and the Bible says that they begin to pray and sing praises unto God. Wow. And the scripture says, suddenly, oh, shall suddenly. God will give you some suddenlies. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> everything is looking crazy. Every, it looks like everything is falling apart. It looks like things are just not working. But here comes the suddenly. Wow. While you're praising him, while you're seeking him, while you're worshiping, here comes the suddenly. The Bible says that the midnight hour, wow, there was an earthquake. <laughs> And God stepped in to the prison. He became their what? Very present help. Wow. In trouble. Wow. Hallelujah. The Bible says every prison door opened. Every shackle that was on all of the prisoners. Not just Paul and Silas. On all of the prisoners. Every door opened. Wow. Every shackle fell off. In other words, as you are getting liberated by God, he'll free others. <laughs> so hallelujah. So others will get free. Wow. By the power of God upon your life and moving on your behalf in Jesus' name. I'm going to show you more of that in a moment. So hallelujah. A very present help in trouble. Deuteronomy 4 and 7. Oh, we thank you, Father, tonight. Come on, let's walk through the word. Let's see our God, his power. Amen. He's moving on your behalf. We speak growth. We speak increase. We speak overflow. <laughs> I hear the Lord say, the tide is turning. Wow. You have a, you have a, it's a pivotal place right now. The tide is turning. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Watch the door that opens. I will help thee. Watch the door that's opening now. Oh, somebody ought to praise him tonight. <laughs> Whoo, hallelujah. Amen. Let's give him praise. Watch the door. I will help thee. All of the things that we begin to face, all of the things that we begin to go through, I mean, just one thing after the other. You know, I'm just going to testify for a moment and air conditions went out and just all of this stuff happening and it's it's like you 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 standing at a place where your back is against the wall it's like what to do next we're praying we've been praying we've been praying we're seeking the heart of god wow and then the suddenly wow oh shout hallelujah he said, $29,000 is going to cost to, re to, re to replace what you need to have replaced. Wow. And then God gives one word. Make a phone call. Wow. Wow. 
And we made that phone call. Shout hallelujah, somebody. He said, we'll get back with you. <laughs> wow. But when they got back with us, oh, hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord. Shout the blessing of the Lord. Come on, let's give God praise. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Deuteronomy 4 and 7. For what nation is there so great? Wow. What nation? Wow. Is there so great? Who hath God so nigh unto them? What people? What people is there? Who has God so close to them as the Lord our God? Come on, let's together. Come on, shut up. As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. Wow. Oh, my God. Come on. Wow. What, what are the people? What are the nation? I'm talking about the kingdom of God. Those in the kingdom of God. Wow. There is no other. Wow. Shout hallelujah. I'm talking about the people of God. That, that we have our God so close to us. That he is in everything that you call upon him for. Wow. Small and great. Wow. Oh, my God. That's one of them Selah moments. Pause. Think about it. Meditate. Come on. Think about that for a moment. That, that God is right in the very thing that others despise and count worthless. God is in it. He is in it for you. Jesus said, the very hairs on your head are numbered by God. And he's concerned about you that much. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on. We got to get these. He is in. Child, he is in all things that we call upon him for. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 121. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, Father. Amen. We will walk established. We will walk grounded. We will walk rooted. We will walk grounded in truth, overflowing in wisdom, overflowing in revelation, overflowing in peace, overflowing in the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. You will not walk in worry and stress and frustration and burdens. Mm -mm. Who the Son set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. And greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And you shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. And if God be for us, who can be against us? David said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for God is with me. Oh, my God. Hallelujah tonight. Who praise his name. Amen. Psalm 121, verse 1, look at this. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. <laughs> my help, oh, yes, Lord. Oh, you need to write this down. You need to write this down. Glory to God. Not at any moment wow, am I, make it personal tonight, not at any moment am I without help or support. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God, not at any time, not at any moment are you without help or support. Wow. Oh my God, very present help in the time of trouble. Wow. Jesus said the Holy Spirit's going to give you what to say in that hour. When you're going through, when you're dealing with things, he will give you what to say, what to do. Wow. Amen. Amen. Oh, shout hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Whew. Verse 2. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Wow, wow, wow. You know, I keep hearing the Holy Spirit say, I will stop the mouths of the lions. I will stop. I keep hearing that. Over, I will stop. The mouths of the lions. Those that put their mouths against you. Those that put their mouths against this ministry. Wow. Wow. Oh, somebody praise them. Oh. Divine protection. Oh, my God. Can we just worship God right now? Oh, my God. Praise you, Father. I see the four corners of this building and property. And I see angels standing there. Four corners. Oh, worship him tonight. Worship him tonight. You know, uh, you ever seen the waves, like radio waves? You know, like when people are talking, you see those waves on the screen, like when you say something, the waves are moving, reflecting the voice. That's what I saw. But I saw them being cut. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. And God said, I cut the cords. Wow. Whew. Wow. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, Father. We praise you, Father. We praise you, Father. The glory of the Lord will be revealed. Wow. Wow. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. I'm telling. Oh, hallelujah. No weapon formed, created, established will prosper. It will not work. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer. Oh my God. Thy foot to be moved. That's a promise. That's a promise. You need to underline that, write it down. Oh my God. He said, I will not suffer your foot to be moved. You are established by God. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. He that keepeth thee, wait a minute, he's keeping me? Yes, he's keeping you. Wow. Every day, every hour. Wow. You have angels assigned to your life as ministering spirits. Wow. The Bible says the angel of the Lord encampeth around about thee. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Amen. Amen. So my help comes from God. So God wants you to call upon him. Number one, he wants you to call upon him. Let's look at these tonight. He wants you to call upon him. That's your prayer life. The, the calling upon the Lord. In the Old Testament, it was called, they, 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 the Bible says they begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Wow. God wants you to call upon him. Not just for something, everything. The Bible says, watch this. In other words, be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Don't, 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 don't worry about anything. Be careful, the words Paul says. Be careful for nothing. But the word be careful means be anxious. Don't, do not be anxious. Don't worry. Don't be fearful for nothing. So, so, so don't, don't, don't be anxious. Don't worry. Don't stress for nothing. 
but in everything by prayer and supplications, let your requests be made known unto God. Wow. Pray about everything. Wow. So I got to call upon God for everything. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Let's look at this. Hallelujah. Psalm 50 and 15. Praise you, Father. He's waiting on you to call on him. Wow. Calling upon God opens the door for divine intervention. Wow. You need, to, you need to write that down. Calling upon God opens the door for divine intervention. What is divine intervention? It means God comes in between wow. to handle, to deal with your situation. Wow. Oh, praise God. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalm 50 and 15. He says, and call upon me in the day of trouble. He says, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Wow. Wow. He says to do what? When you're going through, don't panic. When you're going through, don't start stressing out. When you're going through, don't, no, no, no. Don't start getting in complaining and worrying and, and fear. No, no, no. If you don't know what to say, the best thing to do is be quiet. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> you rather have silence in that moment than speak something that's going to bring you a bad harvest. Mm, 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 mm. Then let something come out of the, the Bible says the power of death and life is in the tongue. That's why you always have to be conditioning your faith, working on your faith. Why? Because the challenge, the issue, the situation, the affliction is coming. It's coming. And you want to be ready. Wow. It's called the preparation of the gospel of peace. That when you face a situation, the first thing that comes up is what you've been meditating on all this time. And that's the word of God. Oh, hallelujah. You want to be in the condition and the position to respond, not react. Wow. Shout faith births a response. Fear births a reaction. Wow. Wow. And so every time in fear, you end up being just like the children of Israel. <laughs> wow. They were not focused on what God said. When they went to go send the spies out to the promise to see the land, only one person, only one person, Caleb, only one person believed. Wow. They came back and said, man, you know, the land, yeah, it's what you said it was. <laughs> it's flowing with milk and honey. It, it's, oh man, it's a fruitful land. But man, we saw the sons of Anak, the giants, and we were as grasshoppers in our own sight. Wow. We, we were so small compared to what was over there. Caleb, the Bible says, silence the people. He told them to hush. Don't say nothing else. Wow. He said, we are well able Let's go up at once. We can do this. Wow. You know what God said? God said to Moses, he said, all of those that went and doubted and complained, they will not go. Wow. They will not see the promise. But Caleb, he will go. Wow. Look what God said. Look what God said. God said because he had a different spirit with him. Oh, my God. Wow. What spirit was that? It was the spirit of God. Wow. Oh, he believed God. Wow. Amen? So I got to keep trusting. 
I got to keep believing in Jesus' name. Come on, look at this. He says, uh, verse 15, he says, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will glorify me. God said, call on him. Call on him. Start praying. Wow. And here's a scripture you can use. Father, you said in the day of trouble, God, and I'm dealing with this and that and this situation here. You said, God, if I call upon you, you will come <laughs> and deliver me. What is our deliverance? Watch this. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Number one, oh, it's not a plan of action. Wow. Oh, my God. He's going to give you a plan of action. What is he going to do? He's going to move on your behalf. Special acts of favor. Amen. He's going to give you a plan of action, number one. Then what else? He's going to move on your behalf, number two. Number three, what's he going to do? He's going to give you special acts of favor. I call it preferential treatment. Wow. My God. What is that? It's favor. Wow. Look. The oh, yes, I got, I got to show you. Oh, say hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody give him praise right now. Amen. What, what is he going to do? Look at this. Uh, Psalm 68, 19. Come on. Uh, I'm about to run. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Psalm 68. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Verse 19. What is, what is he? What is he doing? Watch this. This is what he does. Look. Verse 19. Blessed be the Lord who daily, he does what? How, how, how much? How much? Daily. Wow. Oh, my God. Once a month. Wow. Once a year. <laughs> daily. Every day. So every day. He does what? Loadeth us with benefits. Wow. Wow. What? Yes. Even the God of our salvation. Wow. Wow. That's your expectation. Wow. He loads you. He doesn't just give you. He loads you. That, that's a load. That means more than enough. Wow. Oh, my God. How many of you, you went through something, you faced something, and you couldn't even get upset? <laughs> Let me see your hand. You couldn't even get upset. It's the joy of the Lord was just all over you. It's just the peace of God. It's like you, couldn't even, you couldn't even stress over it. Wow. 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 Oh, sound hallelujah. Amen. He loads me with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Amen. Psalm 18 and 3. Come on. We've got to call upon him. We've got to call upon him. Psalm 18 and 3. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. He's going to show me what to do. Amen. Wow. Even if he tells you, stand still. You're going to see the salvation of the Lord. Glory to God. Even if he tells you, don't say nothing. Keep going. Wow. You're going to see the salvation of God. Wow. Amen. 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 So I'm going to see the salvation of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Come on, Psalm 55. Oh, hallelujah. Look at this. Verse 16. <laughs> oh, praise you, Father. As for me. That's 
That's got to be your determination. It's got to be your commitment. It's got to be your focus. Wow. Wow. In spite of what others have done, what others have done. No, no. It's, you you got to be so locked into this that ask for me. Make it personal. Ask for me. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm committed to. I'm going to call upon God. I will not stress. I will not worry. Jesus said you need not worry about what you're going to eat, drink, or put on. He said, don't worry about any of these things at all. Don't let it come to mind. Take no thought. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He said, that's for me. I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. It's not that God might save you. He didn't say that God uh, will we'll see about if he, if he got, has time to come. That's a guarantee. Wow, it's a promise. It's a promise. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Wow. Wow. All you do is stand in expectation. Father, I thank you. You heard my prayer. And you're going to move on my behalf. Come on, the Bible says, watch this, that the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. Wow. Wow. He doesn't take his eyes off of you. Amen. Amen. Verse 17. Evening and morning. Wow. And at noon. I mean, that's the whole day. Right there? <laughs> That's all day. Wow. He says, evening, morning, and at noon, will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Wow. Wow. Amen. Remember, God is what? He is in all things that what? We call upon him what? For. So he's with you. He's with you. He never leaves you nor forsake you. He is in all things that you call upon him for. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Could we give him praise? Amen. Come on, let me give you one more on that. Jeremiah 33. Oh, praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Jeremiah 33. Thank you, Father. Glorify the name of the Lord. Look at this. Verse 3. Call unto me. He said to do what? Call unto him. He says, and I will answer thee. Oh, my God. You, you have his word. You have his word on it. You have his promise. He said that he's going to do what? Answer you. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. But Pastor God doesn't talk to me. Oh, I beg to differ. <laughs> wow. I beg to differ. Oh, he's talking. Are we listening? Are we open to receive? Amen. Amen. I heard Jesus say, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Wow. Wow. I heard the word of God say, Be sober, be vigilant, be what? Sober, be open, be aware spiritually. How? Your prayer life. The key to your prayer life is this. The purpose of prayer is to encounter God. Wow. Mm. Mm. Amen. Have an experience with him. Wow. He will intervene. And he will move on your behalf. He says, call unto me and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty Things which what? You don't know about. Wow. Wow. He says, 
He says, I will show you great and mighty things which you know it's not, you don't know about. Wow. Amen. Plans you don't know about. Ideas you don't know about. Wow. Change your life forever in Jesus' name. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Number two, my help. So God is my help. So he's the God of my help. Amen. Amen. Number one, he's the God who hears my prayer. He hears my cry. Number two, he's the God of my help. He's the God that helps me. I have help. Amen. He's my support. If I, if I call on him, he's going to help me. He's going to come through. Let's look at somebody who he helped. First Kings 17. Look at this. First Kings 17. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 9. Arise, he said to Elijah. Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to what? Sustain thee. Wow. This is the prophet of the Lord. He's walking, he's journeying, he's moving forth at the voice of God at his command. Wow. Following, believing, trusting in God. Wow. Wow. Amen. If we look up a little bit further in, in, in uh, verse, uh, verse 4, and it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. He sent birds to feed the, the man of God. Wow. Amen. He provided. He helped him. Look at this. Uh, verse 5. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith that is before Jordan. Verse 6. And the what? Ravens what? Brought him what? Bread and what? Fresh in the morning and bread and what? Fresh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. He helped him. Wow. Wow. But what happened? Verse 7. The brook dried up. <laughs> now God gives him a word from the Lord that says, Go to Zarephath, which belongs to Zidon. I have commanded a woman, a widow woman there to sustain thee. To help thee. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 10. So he went, arose to Zarephath, came into the gate of the city. Behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called on her and said, fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. But she said, as the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in, dress it, cook it up for me and my son that we may eat it and die. It's all we got left. We're starving. Wow. Wow. <laughs> do you see this? Verse 13, and Elijah said unto her, fear not, go and do as you have said, but make me therefore a little cake First, and bring it unto me and after make for you and your son for thus saith the Lord God of Israel the barrel of meal shall not waste neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth they were in a famine they were in a drought there was no rain wow Whew. amen she went, did according to the word of God, to the, to the man of God, what he said. And she, she and he and her house did eat many days. Verse 16, the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah. Wow. God sustained him. But guess what? God sustained her. Oh, hallelujah. Wow. Amen. He has a plan. And he has a way. Wow. He has ideas that he'll give you and show you. Amen. Amen. What he has in store for you to provide. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
Amen. Second Chronicles 20. Oh, we thank you, Father. We don't have time to get into all of this, but we're going to read just a couple of key parts here. In Moab, Ammon, and Mount Seir came against the house of Judah. They began to pray. They came against them for war. But they began to pray. And the Spirit of God fell on Jehaziel. He began to prophesy. You don't need to fight in this battle. The battle's not yours. Look at this, verse 17. You shall not fight in this battle. Second Chronicles 20 and 17. You shall not fight, need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand you still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah, at Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Amen. Going down. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 24. Uh, verse 22. And when they begin to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments. Do you see this? What did God do? When they begin to sing, God moved by surprise upon them. Wow. That's what an ambush is. To, to catch the enemy by surprise. Wow. Against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah. And they were what? Smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir utterly to slay and destroy them when they had made an end of the, the inhabitants of Seir. Everyone helped to destroy another. They were so confused in the presence of God. They were confused. So they, Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, fought each other and killed themselves. Oh, my God. Wow. It was confused in the presence of God. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. When Judah, verse 24, came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, there were what? Dead bodies fallen to the earth, none escaped. And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies, precious jewels, which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away. And they were three Days in gathering of the spoil, it was so much. Wow. Somebody shout hallelujah. God fought for them. God fought for them. What did he, he say? Oh, he gave them instruction. That's why calling upon God is so important. Praying, get a word from God, direction. What do you need to do in this moment? What is the plan of action? What was their plan of action? God said, send out the singers. That's it. That's it? Yes, just start singing. Wow. Wow. The Bible says his ways are what? Past finding out. Mm. Wow. Amen. They started singing, and they started singing. All of a sudden, the enemy's destroyed. Wow. They didn't have to lift one sword. One spear, shoot not one bow and arrow. Wow. Wow. Because of the presence and power of God. And we have God so close to us that he is in all what? Things that what? We call, come on, upon him what? For. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So he's going to fight for us. Come on, number three. We've got to give you this. The God of my strength. So he's the God of my strength. All right. I'm just going to give you one of these. Come on, Isaiah 40. Whew. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, praise Jesus. You can write down 2 Samuel 22, 33. Whew. Hallelujah. But go, go, go to Isaiah 40. Oh, we praise you, Father. Verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up 
with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk. Will not faint. Wow. Hallelujah. Shout glory to God. What, do you mean, what does he mean by wait? Let's clarify that. Because waiting doesn't mean do nothing. That's not what he means. They that wait upon God just stand there looking. No, no, no. They that serve and seek his face. Wow. That's what it means. Wow. They that serve and seek his face are positioning themselves for the strength of God wow. to come upon them. Mm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, number four, the God who fights for me. So he's the God who fights for me. Come on. He said, give you this. This, this, this one scripture. Look at this. 14, Exodus 14, 14. Look at this. Oh, my God. Whew. Hallelujah. Shout, he's the God who fights for me. Mm. In Jesus' name. Oh, praise God. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord shall fight for you. And you <laughs> shall hold your peace. Wow. Don't panic. Don't stress, don't fear, don't complain. Hold your peace. Glory to God. Whew. Hallelujah. The, number five, the God who shields me. Wow. He's the God who shields me. Whew. Psalm 3 and 3. Whew. Praise you, Father. Psalm 3, verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory and the lifter up of mine head. Wow. wow. He's who? He, he says, for thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and the what? Lifter up of my head. Lift your head high. Mm -mm. No sadness. No distress. No frustration. God, he's the what? Lifter up. Of your head. He's a shield round about you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Shoot over there to chapter, uh, to uh, Psalm 4. Glory to God. Look at this. Oh, praise his name. Psalm 5. Look at this. Psalm 5 and 12. Look at this. For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous with favor, wilt thou compass him. As with a shield. Wow. Oh my God. The favor of God is a shield round about you. Amen. Glory to God. No lack. No want. No shortage. Hmm. No, 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 no. He's not slack concerning his promises. He told, he told Moses and he says, when, when I bring you into the land of plenteous of goods. Wow. It's not short. Or, no, no. There's no uh, lack or, or slackness in it. It's overflowing. See, the promised land to them is what the kingdom of God is to you. Overflowing. Wow. More than enough. So he's the God of more than enough. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Favor, that word favor, rason, rason, in the Hebrew, it means acts of goodwill, preferential treatment. Wow. See, favor is what money can never give. You have something that the world doesn't have. They focus on the money. For God gives you favor. See, let me help you. What many had to spend for, God touches the heart of people to transfer it to you. Oh, my 
my God. So, hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Amen. Wow. Someone had to pay for the land, but they just gave it to you. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe God? Whew. Amen. They gave you, the other person, they had to pay full price. You paid half. Oh, hallelujah. So the favor of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on. Number six, the God of promises. Second Peter 1 said he's the God of promises. In the name of Jesus. First Peter, second Peter. One, verse three. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Oh, my God. You have everything you need. Wow. Where is it? It's right in there, in the word of God. Everything that you need. Wow. It's in the word of God. Get the faith for it. Wow. Get the faith for it. And execute your faith. Well, you know, I'm believing God for a house. Did you go walk through it? Wow. Did you call the realtor? Wow. Did you walk through the house? Did you fill out the application? I'm believing God for a new car. Did you go to the car lot? Wow. Wow. Oh, shout hallelujah. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. Can we give him praise? <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, according as God, according as his divine power have given unto us all things, so all things that pertain to what? Life and what? Godliness. through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue, whereby are giving unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature of God, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Wow. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Let me give you the last one. Number seven, fear not. We're closing. Fear not. Wow. Do not let fear grip your life. He is the God who fights for you. Wow. Amen. He is the God of my defense. But God cannot work through fear. Wow. Wow. He cannot work through fear. He works through faith. Trust, assurance, confidence, dependency on him. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 35 and 4. Look at this. Praise you, Father. Amen. You can write down 2 Timothy 1 and 7. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and to have a sound mine. Amen. 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 Praise you, Father. Isaiah 35 and 4. He says, say to them that are of a fearful heart, wow, be strong, fear not, Behold, that word behold, it means to look. God's saying, look. Wow. He says, he says, he says, look. Your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense. He will come. And save 
you. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amen. He says, be strong. Fear not. He will come with vengeance. He will come with recompense. What is recompense? Repayment to those who have done you wrong. Hmm. Vengeance. Those who came against your life. Those who came against you. He will come with vengeance. That's why you don't have to do anything. No, no, pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Let the world. No, no. The, the world gets even. We pray for them. But when God gets finished moving, when God gets finished, there's no retaliation like the retaliation that comes from heaven. Wow. Amen. There's a scripture that says, don't laugh at them when you see God executing his vengeance against them for coming against you. He said, don't laugh. Why? He said, because if you laugh, he says, he will stop. Mm. Wow. It's the word of God. He says, if you laugh, he will stop the execution of his vengeance. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. He says, but what? Pray for them. Re repay no man evil for evil. I will repay, saith the Lord. Wow. He says, I'll pay them back. Don't fear. Don't panic. Don't stress. I will repay. Look what happened to, to Jacob, to, to, you know, to Jacob when he was at Laban. Everything that Laban took him through changed his wages all those times. And in the end, what did God do? God gave Jacob Laban's cattle. <laughs> what did he do? He gave him divine intervention. Oh, come on, somebody. He gave him an idea in a dream. Wow. And when he had that idea given to him by God, it changed his whole life. He began to prosper. Wow. And he took all of Laban's cattle. So God has a way of turning everything around for me. Come on, let's give him praise tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Father, we praise you that you're the God of our defense. We thank you, Father, that you're the God who fights for us. We thank you, Father, that you're the God, our source and sustainer. We thank you, Father, that you declared for us to fear not, nor be dismayed. For you will come, you will move, you will fight for us. We thank you, Lord. And as you declared, Lord God, you said you will help. And we praise you. You are our help. You are our source and sustainer, God. We thank you, Father, that we have divine provisions from your kingdom. We thank you now. We give you the glory. We give you the praise, Father. We pray over those that have been gripped with fear. We pray over those that have been gripped, oh God, with worry, stress, frustration. We call upon you, that they'll call upon you. Call upon the name of the Lord and see the salvation of God. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the glory and all the praise right now in Jesus, mighty name, Father, in Jesus' name, God, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, amen, 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 amen. Come on, let's give God praise tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We praise.